Or I call it the Oprah effect. People across the country and around the world are now saying the name Reese Taylor. Oprah Winfrey spoke out about the civil and women's rights pioneer last night at the Golden Globe Awards. Many people may not have known Reese Taylor's story, but our Andrea Isom sat down with a Metro Detroit author, proud to say she knows it very well. Reese Taylor. A name I know and I think you should know too. She lived, as we all have lived, too many years in a culture broken by brutally powerful men. But their time is up. As the masses responded with a resounding roar, so did Metro Detroit's own author and historian Danielle McGuire. You see, for Danielle, the Golden Globes was not just golden, it was glorious. She was thunderstruck to hear Oprah Winfrey, an icon, speak about her heroine, her absolute inspiration, Reese Taylor. All I would say to her if we were sitting there watching it yeah. together was, Reese, oh. you did it. You did it. Danielle McGuire is a truth seeker who wrote this book, At the Dark End of the Street. And Reese Taylor's story, her truth rests on many of these pages. Decades before the women's movement, before the personal was political, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before Take Back the Night, yeah. before actresses said Me Too, mm -hmm. there was Reese Taylor standing alone at great risk to her life saying Me Too. In 1944, Reese Taylor spoke up. Imagine that. But she did it. Bravely shared her testimony of being abducted, tortured, raped by six white men and left for dead. Her bold resistance to injustice, her stand for human dignity, and for her own bodily integrity is just something I want to model and emulate and teach to others. Danielle spent many, many years with Reese Taylor and her family, and she spent more than 10 researching, digging. Danielle was on a quest, and she conquered it. She recovered undisputed records of Reese Taylor's history and the crimes committed against her. Documents that many in power, Danielle says, attempted to dismiss, suppress, ignore. We're a torchbearer for justice and for all of us to be able to stand here and say, me too. When asked why she wanted to tell Reese Taylor's story, the answer, because her heart said she had to. And when it came time to say goodbye, farewell to her dear friend, Danielle traveled to Alabama to Reese Taylor's homegoing service several days ago. Why? Because her heart said she had to again. I love you, I'm grateful for you, you changed my life, and so many people look up to you now, and that's the best. Yes, that is the best, indeed. In Detroit, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. Wow. I mean, no one really knew that name until Oprah mentioned it at the, at the Golden Globes, and then who knew we'd have a local connection? Who, who knew? Well, you know, and people like Reese Taylor never set out to change the world and to affect people. They just do, and that's what makes them so strong. And so we're so glad the book exists so people can learn that story. Even learn more, for sure. We have, uh,